Uh, Chinese stocks in Hong Kong reversing all of their earlier losses yesterday, though. Um, does that indicate any perhaps change in sentiment, or is this just a technical rebound? Yeah, as uh, David just mentioned, um, t uh, traders have uh, attributed the rebound as a technical rebound because we've seen excessive selling in the Hang Seng Index in the past five days. And I think almost every day the selling was more than 1%. And the relative uh, strength index for that, in uh, for that index is uh, approaching 30, which is indicating an oversold level. And over overall year to date with losses of 8%, Hang Seng Index is ranked among the worst uh, in the global indices. So overall, people are, selling, are saying that it's a seller exhaustion that they saw yesterday. Uh, so the mood, I think, still remains quite pessimistic because we haven't seen any major stimulus or major you know, good economic uh, data coming out recently. Although we did see um, a scoop yesterday about Chinese, uh, Chinese government asking banks to step up intervention in the yuan market, um, I don't think that's going to translate significantly to the equities market. Well, the Hang Seng Index is uh, going to announce its quarterly revamp today. What are we expecting? Yeah, we're expecting to see um, some new additions in the consumer and uh, um, yeah, consumer sector. So Li Oto is one name that was mentioned by analysts. Uh, that's an EV maker. And pharmaceutical companies are expected to be added as well. Uh, Wuxi Aptech is a name mentioned by analysts as well. I think both sectors still have relatively low representation in the Hansen Index. Um, and in terms of deletions, one key name we're watching out for is Country Garden. It's still in the Hansen Index, but with the com company teetering uh, on the on the edge of a, of a default, um, people or some people are expecting this company to be removed from the index.